Okay, so today's daf is the K Dalit in your bummers. <clears throat> yes, so we got down to the last line on K Gilman and Bays. We're discussing there the sheet of our blesser. Blesser had mentioned in the Mishnah, contrary to what we said, is apparently the Psak that a androgynous, we're not sure if it's a boy or a girl. And therefore, <clears throat> if he marries, if he's a Kohen, he marries a woman, presumably she cannot eat Truma, Nidaraisa, because we don't know if he's really a Kohen male or not. However, Blesser says he is a coin male, and if, if another male has sex with him, that would be considered um, that would be considered a, um, uh, a, a it would be considered pardon a problem. It would be a problem. Yeah, yeah. That would be considered you know homosexuality and be high of skila. The only shila was is there's one sheet that says that she's high of skila whether the other person has has a sex with either organ that he has. Or according to Blaz, it's mashma only if he has it with the male organ, male organ to male organ. Otherwise, not. Again, otherwise that he wouldn't be high if he had sex with the androgynous's female organ. Uh, but if he had uh, sex with either or either the male the male organ or presumably anal sex, that would be high of skila even on androgynous according to Blaz. The Gemara at the end said, and that's what releases this into today's doc. Gemara at the end said, even according to Blaz, who holds that an androgynous is definitely a male for skila in a homosexual relationship, but not for everything is it a male. For example, if it would be, if it's definitely a male, then an animal who was an androgynous, let's say a short test of ways, things which are normally given, used as carbonus, would also be able to be uh, a male. If you need, let's say a male for uh, an ashram is always a male uh, ram. Uh, let's say that ash, that ram was an androgynous, could use him as a carbon, no smashman, no, because Rebbe Lezer says, and too many rogues are not metam of Gorma Sabliya. Why? Because this, whatever it's a Zohar or Nikeva, then it has to be Zohar or Nikeva and not, not an androgynous. But when it comes to birds where it doesn't say Zohar Nikeva, then even uh, a, uh, an androgynous bird would be kosher to bring as a carbon because there it doesn't say Zohar Nikeva. When it comes to birds, you don't need to be uh, an unblemished bird and it doesn't have to be a male or a female. It makes no difference, even though uh, birds are only brought as an Ola and Ola's, Ola animals are always Zohar. Chattas, not always, but it's all the chattas, doesn't be male or female. But it, when it comes to animals, which have to be male or female, you see from Rebbe Lezer that androgynous will not be good. So he uses that as an exception. Now, yesterday, the, and you mentioned, uh, Moshe, you mentioned that, well, if it's an androgynous animal, would, that would be a blemish, right? Having a, a vagina, a vagina would, 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 uh, would be a blemish. So now we'll see about that. We see this also, what, the Rebbe Lezer holds that a tum from androgynous uh, would be a psul in an animal. Because it's like this, and Blesser Omer, listen to this, at the top of the page, pay dollar. Ha klein treif, an animal, which is a mixed breed, a klein, or a treif, an animal which has a mortal wound, or Yotzadof, an or he's born by cesarean, or a tumtum adrogonus, these five categories of animals, not only can that be brought as a carbon, for sure that it can't be brought as a carbon, but lo kedusha makachin, they can't even become fully holy as a carbon, meaning kedusha zagof, and they can't be Makadish another animal in terms of Tamura. Tamura means that I have animal A, which is Kadish, and I say B should be like A. So both of them become, uh, I, want, I want B to replace A, they both of them become Kadish. The rule of, of Tamura is that even if B is a Baumum, it still gets Kedusha. You see, a Baumum, if, if, a, if an animal is, has a Mum Kavua, has a permanent blemish, you cannot bring it as a carbon, right? But if it is a permanent blemish before it became holy, it doesn't even get Kadish's like, oh, it's only what we call Kadish's Domin. It's like you give wood to the base of Mikdash. You could just be poted for money. It doesn't have to get a mum or something like that first. It doesn't have to get a blemish before you could be poted. That's Kedush. If someone has Kedush, they go for an animal has Kedush, they go for, let's say you want to get, you want to take it out of Kedush, you have to wait till it gets a mum. Like we say in many cases, you don't know what to do with it. Wait till it gets a mum, then you can be poted. And if it's, it still has to be eaten with kavo. You can't, uh, you can't uh, uh, do work with it, et cetera. That's if an animal had Kedush, go. An animal that was a bal mum first, it had a permanent blemish, cannot get Kedush, they go. These five cases, Klein, Trefe, Yotze, Dof, and Tumat and Droganus, are even less than that, meaning they can't become Kaddish, you can't be Makdish them. And if they're already Kaddish, they, you, they can't be Makdish them. So Tmur, that's what Shmuel says, Amr Shmuel, Lo Kaddish, but Tmur, Vol Makdish, but also Tmur, Shmamina. So you see from over here that he says clearly that a Tumat and Droganus can never get Kaddish, even though it's a, it's a, you don't say that it's a male or it's a female, it doesn't work, it cannot get the Kaddish. And it's even less. So you say, in what sense is it it's a Baal Mum? It's even worse than a Baal Mum. Because a Baal Mum, a Baal Mum um, could be Kadosh if it was Kadosh before, 
and then it gets a, a, a or uh, and then it get, gets a balmum. Okay, so you have to be potent. But even more, a balmum could become kadosh ayde tmura. Let's say you had a regular animal that was a. A is number is a good animal, and you like B instead. But B had a mum, and your makdashit does it work there? For tmura it does. If I say havezu tmura zu, then B gets the kedusha. Even though if initially I said about a balmum, I want it to be kadosh kedusha the goof, it doesn't work. It's only kedusha stomach. Like if, if I give a dog to the base makdash because they need a dog for uh, security or whatever, okay, it has kedusha stomach. It's not as a kedusha the goof. You can't bring it as a carbon. You could be potent for money without the way people get some mum. The same thing, so by, by uh, so a balmum, you can't make it karosh lechachila, but if, if you made it karosh lechachila, it's more, it does work. These five are even a bigger mum. They're not just a regular mum. Let's say an animal had his uh, half his ear slid off. That's a, that's a permanent blemish. It's not going to grow back. Let's say that's a mum, or it's missing an eye, or something like that. These climb, climb trapeos, are even worse than that. They can't even karosh lechachila. In other words, uh, they're less than that. So you're right. It's a balmum. Having a, and drugs is a balmum, and it can't be brought as a carbon, but it can't even become kadosh. So what do you see over here? Even though Rebbe says that androgynous is a male in terms of homosexuality, yet when it comes to carbonus, you see that it's not considered a male, it can't even become the kadosh at all. And he, and he goes on to explain. So the question you might ask is, I don't know, you didn't ask that, but <laughs> if it can ever become kadosh, <clears throat> if it can ever become A, how could you say it can't make a B? We say it can't become a, you can't be mocked the shit, right? Even I day something else. And if it's kadosh, you can't make you can't make a B out of it, right? You can't if it's in other words, if it's a B, if it never you, comes a, how can it become how a? can it become B? Right. It's one thing to say if it's if it's one of these five, if it's if, the, if B is climb tray for you, so the Rogunas, you can't ever become kadosh, even if Aide Tmura were a regular Balmum could become kadosh Aide Tmura. Even though I can't bring it as a carbon, but it could become the kedusha Saguf. In other words, you have to be you have to then uh, be annoyed with the kedusha that you can't um, you know you can't uh, uh, do gisa, you can't work with it, etc. That's for a regular balmum. But a regular balmum, if it's B, it could become kadosh aide A. These can't become kadosh aide. Can never become B, right? Can never become kadosh aide A. But then it says, and also if it's A, you can't make a B. How could it become A? Philip. So Rashi brings down the Gemara and explains that it depends what it is. If it's a case of uh, Yotze Dauphin or uh, a Trefa, okay, very simple. Uh, it was Kaddish initially, it was Kaddish originally, and then it became Trefa. That's how it became A, that it had Kedusha. It was Kaddish, it was originally a good animal, became a Trefa, got a mortal wound. That's Trefa, right? Fine, that's okay. Um, or El um, or let's say you were Makdish, a baby inside the mother, you had a cow over here and had a calf inside, wasn't born yet. You were mocked just the calf inside, and then it was born by cesarean. Okay, so that's how it become Kaddish, right? You can't make it Kaddish per se, but you made it Kaddish before it became, uh, before it became a Yod Seidok, before it became born by cesarean. Or the first case, you were mocked to shit, and then it became Trefa. But Klyam and Tumtum and Droganus, that, which are puzzle from their initial point, how do you make that? That's only, Yerashi says, the only most is Shek's El of Lotus Kaddish from Joyce. The mother was a Kedusha, and the mother was Kadosh, and the mother gave birth to a Tumtum or Androgynous or a Klyam by, a, by having a, a Bio with a different kind of an animal. So in that case, the mother was Kadosh, and the baby became Kadosh that way. That is, you can never make these things Kadosh to Shefshila. Tumtum and Androgynous, you know, and Klyam and Trefa, if they're already as such, you can't make them into A. However, if they became Kaddish through some other means, they were Kaddish before they became the Yotze Dauphin or, or, or before they became Trefa, or the mother was Kaddish and then from conception, the animal was an androgynous or a tumtum or a climb from conception. So how, did, how could it become Kaddish if it's already- But you don't know that when you make it Kaddish. That's right. Inside the mother's womb. No, no, here we're it's talking- the same, right, it's right, the same, right, 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 right. Here, it's not inside the womb, womb. Here, it's not even born yet. No, here, it's not even conce conceived. We're saying like this. If the mother, the animal's mother was Kaddish, then you were Makish Kaddish. Then she gave birth to an androgynous or a tumtum or to a client. Then the baby's Kaddish also. That's how it worked out. That's how it could become Kaddish without making the animal Kaddish. Okay. <coughs> says, Interesting Interesting Gemara. It doesn't. Uh, it's not. I'm not clear what the what the lesson of Zir. Rebbe Rebbe said like this. We said before back on I am days that Rashi brought down Rebbe Lezer Shemua is a Stam Rebbe Lazar in the Gemara. Remember in the Mishnah rather. 
When the mission says Rebel Yezer, like here, Rebel Yezer is Rebel Yezer ben Hirkas. Rebel Yezer in the mission is Rebel Yezer ben Shemua. Rebel Yezer in the Gemara is Rebel Yezer ben Pedos, the Amora. So here, Rebbe says, when I went to learn at the Tana, Rebel Yezer ben Shemua, Chibur of Tamidim, his Tamidim jumped up on me, Katanagom Shabbat's book yet. Like the Tanagom based book yet. These were Tanagolim uh, roosters who kept the other ones out. They didn't like foreigners. You know, they were very uh, protective. What's the what's the word? They're very t- territorial. You know, they, territory. they huh? Territory. Yeah. What? Isolation. Isolation. All right. They didn't want anybody else in there. So he says the Tamidim <laughs> kept me out. They didn't want to let me learn anything, just like the Tanagolim of that place. Well, in they didn't let me learn except one thing. I'll never ask you should say no. At that point, the Rebbe holds that when it comes to homosexuality, an androgynous is considered a male, and if you have beer with him, you're Misa. Now we begin the ninth parak, the second half of Yavamas in terms of Prakim. We're already more than halfway in terms of Tapim, but now we have the last eight Prakim. We first learned the first eight, now we get the last eight. So this part is relatively simple. Okay, you should be able to get, you know, this is very simple. There are some women. Sometimes a woman is mutter to marry her husband, right? It's not, there's no, there's no way to involved, but they can't marry the Yavam, the brother-in-law, right? Reuben died and she, she can marry Reuben and there's no problem with that, but she can marry Shimon, the brother. Why? They're brothers, brothers from the father's side. We'll see, pardon? The niece. Uh, okay, we talked about those first those cases over there, the first fifteen cases. But then we're not talking about whether where they're related before, where there's other relations that are Arabs. Here we're talking about their mutter but they're also to the Yavam. And as we'll see, uh, the, the kedusha could be chal if they marry, and that's kedusha could be chal because a lot of these are only Israel and they're not Israel uh, Or pardon? She could be a Garusha. Oh, very good. Okay, we're going to talk about all these cases, right? Um, if she was a Grusha. Right, so how could she marry the first cohen? First one, first one. <laughs> All right, okay, we're going to get there. All right, you can figure it out. The mission's going to give it all to you. The mission's going to spoon feed it. You don't have to work too hard. And there are others, Mutosi Bay, must the other way, the way around. That is, Mutosi Smith didn't marry Shimon the brother, but she was forbidden to marry the uh, Reuven, the Chachilla. Now, the Kedushin was how, like we said, if a coin today marries a Grusha, the Kedushin works. You need to get and everything. Let's say he dies, even would be, there would be even. Like they like just say there, not not in a case of where where they're both a grusha already, but other cases we'll see. So the matarsi bay must have sometimes. So sometimes she's mutter to marry Reuben, can't marry Shimon. Sometimes she's mutter to marry Shimon, she can marry Reuben. So sometimes mutter to but sometimes she can marry both. That's a regular case. And there's some cases where she can marry either one. It's going to list all the four different kinds. They must have the must have the mutter to marry Reuben, can't marry Shimon. For example, coin hey did shenasa salmon. The matar is going to ask. It doesn't have to say shenasa could have didn't just been could have just been mekadesh her. We're going to see why it says Nasa. And it doesn't have to be on She can marry a psula, because if a Kohen marries a psula, marries a woman, and then he's then he dies, Reuben's a Kohen, Mary dies, and the brother, the Yeshlach, Kohen Gadol. Shimon's a Kohen Gadol. Kohen Gadol can't marry an Almana, right? Can't marry an Almana. And she's not a psula either if he married her. You don't have to be a psula, right? Even, even if she was a psula and he died from psula, we'll see. Let's say the first Kohen married this psula, and he died from Ayers, didn't marry her, just got engaged to her. Never consummated the marriage. She's still a psula. Kohen Gadol still can't marry her because she's an Amana, right? So there's a case where she can marry Reuben, she can't marry Shimon. Halal Shinasik Sharon. This is important. A halal is the offspring of a Kohen who married somebody that he wasn't supposed to marry, right? That's a halal. And a, um, uh, a halal can marry a regular woman. The woman, even a, even a Bas Kohen can marry a halal. It's not for Binber. By marrying him, she becomes a halala, but there's no, there's not forbidden for her. A halal can marry a, a, any woman who's kosher, a woman, and can marry even a bas kohen. We'll see, Sharon means she's kosher even to marry a, a kohen. So halal, she married this, this guy, this halal, and she was married, kosher to marry a kohen before, but now once she's married to him, she becomes a halala, and she can't marry the kohen. He has a, he has a brother who's a regular kohen. So if Reuben was a halal, right? And uh, why would he be a halal and his brother not? Because the father, different Yaakov, mothers. had two wives, different mothers, right? One mother was forbidden to marry the Kohen, one not. So there's Ach Kosher. So again, in this case, what happened over here? Halal Shanusik Shera, he was allowed to marry her, and he's got a brother who's a Kohen. Now he can't marry her. So, that, so Ruth, she can marry Ruth, she can marry Shimon. Yisrael Shana Bas Yisrael. Let's say a regular, a Jew married a Jewish girl. The Eshlach Mamzer, he's got a brother who's a Mamzer. Reuven was a regular guy, and his brother was a Mamzer. Because his father had fathered him from somebody he wasn't supposed to marry, like a mamzeris. 
So here she can marry Reuben, but she can marry Shimon. Mamza Shinas, what do you do in a case like that, by the way? You give a chalitza, right? Because Menatori even would be chal, because Metzis the chalitza, we had to hold more in the first program. So mom, or some moms, let's say a mom's going to marry a mom's heiress. Reuben is a mom's heir, and his, and his wife is a mom's heiress. And then he dies, you know, Shlom Yeshlach, but he has a brother who's a regular Israel. Israel can't marry the mom's heiress either. And all those cases, with Tarsal Belen, Mr. So all those cases, those are the first four cases, and we'll see there's other cases too, where she can marry Reuben, she can marry Shimon. Now the following cases are cases where she can't marry Reuben, but she could marry Shimon. Kohen Gadol, she is Almana. Kohen Gadol, notice he says here, Shekidish. He only got engaged to an Almana. Okay, the Kohen Gadol, he's not supposed to get engaged to an Almana. Almana will seek up, right? He's not supposed to, and he did. So he's also to him. He's got a brother who's a Kohen Hedja. Kohen Hedja could marry him. That's why it says Shekidish. Why? Because if he consummated the marriage, if the Kohen Gadol, the brother, not only got engaged to Almana, but he consummated the marriage, he turned her into a halala. Then the brother wouldn't be able to marry her either. In this case, he only got engaged her. Or Kosh a regular Kohen Kosh married a halala. He's not supposed to marry her. says, Right? So he's not, Kohen's not supposed to marry halala. He did, Reuben did. And he's got a brother who's a halal. The brother could marry her. There's a case where Reuben can't marry Shimon. Could you swallow Shinas and Mamzeris? So Mamzeris is not supposed to. Yeshlach Mamzeris. Brothers of Mamzeris. The Mamzeris could marry the Mamzeris. Or Mamzeris Shinas by Israel. Mamzeris married a Basra. Not supposed to. Yeshlach Yisrael. He's got a brother who's Yisrael who could marry her. All those cases in the Torah of Emes Rosh Hashanah. She's mutter to the Avam and can't marry the Baal. Elu Rosh Hashanah. The following the Rosh Hashanah. That's Elu Elu. Kohen Gadol Shinas Rosh Hashanah. Let's say Kohen Gadol married the Almana. If he married the Almana, not only is he forbidden, but he's he's made her into a halala by consummating the marriage. Now his brother is a regular coin or a coin girl can't marry at all. Yeshlach coin girl, o coin yadid. Whatever coin his brother is can't marry because she's a halala. Kosher shenas halala. A coin kosher married a halala. All right. Yeshlach kosher. He's not supposed to marry a coin kosher. Is not supposed to marry halala. Like he's not supposed to marry Grusha or Zona. He's got a brother who's an ach kosher. Right. The ach kosher. Right. So coin had a. So there, he can't marry her. And he's got a brother who can't marry her. Why? Because she's also a halala. So a coin, a kush, a coin kosher married a halala. He's not supposed to. And he's got a brother who's also a coin kosher. Neither of them are supposed to marry the halala. Yisrael Shinas and Amzeris. Yisrael married Amzeris. Yisrael Achim Yisrael. Neither of them are supposed to marry Amzeris. Mamzer Shinas and Basis. Well, Mamzer married Abbasis. Well, he's not supposed to. Yisrael Achim Mamzer. The brother's also Mamzer. The whole family's Mamzer, right? Those are all, those are all, also, so those are all also for everybody. But Sharko, everybody else, Sharko, everybody else is Mutter Lebein, the other ones, everybody else is not in those categories, is Mutter. And as we'll see, in these cases, even though they went against a halach in the Torah, let's say a coin married a Grusha, she's still entitled to the Ksuba. She's still entitled to the Ksuba because the marriage is Chal. Shneas, what's Shneas? Shneas is, for example, you can't marry your grandmother. The Torah doesn't forbid you from marrying your mother's mother, your father's mother. But we learned before in the second paragraph that those things are us and they're about them. So Shni is very self from Shni about, let's say she's a Shniya to the to Reuben and not to Shimon. They had different mothers, let's say, right? Uh below Shniya, below Shniya, or so Asula Baal Mutasiyab, the same thing. She's a she's a Shniya to Reuben, not to Shimon. So she can't marry Reuben, she can marry Shimon. But the condition is how. Shniel Yab, Shniel Labal, then that Asula Yab and Mutas Labal. Shniel is as she's a Shniel Bal, and Asula Zel is that. In these cases where she's not supposed to marry the Shniya, She's not entitled to the The rabbis were more machmed than the Torah. Because the rabbis, in order to give chizuk, to give strength to their takana, that said they, they were said you shouldn't marry your mother, your, your grandmother, or you shouldn't marry your uh, your daughter-in-law's daughter. You can't marry your daughter-in-law in a Torah, right? Your daughter-in-law's daughter, right? right? Your, 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 your daughter-in-law's daughter-in-law, let's say. Okay? Your, or your, no, I'm sorry, your son's daughter-in-law. Your son's daughter-in-law, right, right. That would be your granddaughter, right? Uh, your son's daughter-in-law. So in these cases, the rabbis added on, the rabbis said, you know what, also in order to strengthen our word, to give power to him, she's not entitled to a below Paris. And if he ate her Paris, he's not entitled to, she's not entited to demand the, you know, that his payment below Mazonos, not entitled to sustenance below blows. And if he uh, used up her assets, clothing or whatever, she can't make any damn blah kosher, but the baby is kosher. The baby's not a mom, it's only a Surabon. We cover us lots of but we force him to divorce her. Or uh, all these are awesome in Torah, right? That a coin can't marry Grusha. Chalutza really might just be mentioned, or maybe they didn't make a difference. This is really only us in Rabbanam. 
But in any case, it's Mamzer, Sisil Yisrael, Baisel, Mamzer, those things are all Medra Araisa, Yeshon Ksuba. They're the, they're, because Kedushan Chal, therefore, they're entitled to Ksuba. So the Gemara now first says, like I mentioned before, Mayuri the Tanin Nosa, in the first case, the first case we said, a Kohen Eged married an Almona. Why if he married an Almona? Even if he just got engaged to her. It's the same thing. If he was just engaged to her, the brother who's a Kohen Gadol can't marry her. She's already an Almona, right? And now she's an Almona a second time. Married the Tanin Nosa, listen to Kiddush. But he came in time to us, oh, you know why? Because if he married her, then there's two Isurim on the coin girl. Amar lo sikech and psula my avli gachisha. She's not a psula either. Davli yasa velosa say, avli kiddish, but if you will, mekadisha. In other words, but she's still a psula. Let's say the original coin hegyog married an almana who was a psula from the first marriage. He never, the first guy never, never uh, consummated the marriage. And he also didn't consummate the marriage. Avli kiddish, asi yasa velosa say, maybe the essay of yibum, she's dofa the losa say, avamana lo sikech. But cool all the things we're talking about here, not only here, but in previous program also, the whole thing we're talking about Essa and Losa say you saw for Namj, etc. But we don't say Losi Losase. Rashi brings down in the Begmar back of the Chof, which is only the Havana. The real reason is we said <coughs> there goes to be a Rishon, not to be a Shnia. Meaning, why don't you say that a coin guttle, right, is not supposed to be an Amana? But let's say she's not a mana mina Arison. She's still a Psula, she's still a virgin. So what's the Yisrael Manol Sikach? Yeah, but you got a mitzvah as Yibam of Esther the Cholosa says, there's mitzvah be Yibam, Esther should be the Cholosa say. It's not a chorus over here. The answer is you're right. Esther would be the Cholosa, but that only helps for the first Bia, doesn't help for afterwards. After the marriage, it doesn't help. She's still an Almana, and therefore he said, goes to be Yibam, to be Yishniah. But the point is, this is all uh, we have at Esther. So we don't say Esther the Cholosa say, because we said, goes to be Yibam, to be Yishniah, or the other reasons brought down back on the Cholosa over there. Um, and so, um, so, 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 Say the answer. So why talk is it no? So why do we say koinei shenasa salamana? The answer is shemuay is safe. The safest is koin gadol shenasa salamana. There we say if a koin gadol married, where it's also for both of them. Koin gadol married an almana, so not only is it also for him, but his brother who's a koin hegod is now forbidden to her. Why? Because she's now a halala, right? They're both also. Right, so Dafka Nasa the Shabbat Chalay made into Chalal. Then the second, then his brother Shimon also can't marry her. Avul Kiddush should be only as Mikdash or Shari Lay. Then Shimon could marry her because she's not a Chalala. So Tanan Ami Reisha and Nasa. Therefore, Reisha also says Nasa because the Sefer had to say Nasa. So the Gemara says Adatani said Adatani Misin. Why do you say he's on Nasa because of the Sefer? Listen to Mishum Mitzias in the middle case, not where it's Aser to both. So it's Kohen Gadol Shekidish Salmana. Kohen Gadol is Mikdash Salmana where he didn't consummate the marriage. So. Therefore, she's not a halala, and that's a case where the uh, Reuben cannot marry her, but Shimon could. Why don't you say over there, Kiddush, just like the, why don't you say in the first case, Kiddush, just like the middle case is also Kiddush. You know why the first case is really Shenosa? Basbuksa means the daughter of the valley, meaning the neighbor. What's the first, the very first case? The first case in the mission was Kohen Hedish and Nasa Sanamana, the Eshlach Kohen Gadol, and Chalal Shenas Akshayr, and Chalal who married Akshayr. So over there, it's only if Chal married Akshayr because he turned her into a Chalala, time of the Nasa, the Shavah Chalala. Avakir Shari, and Shemach Tani Nasa. Now, the first case of Nasa is because the second case of Chalal Shenas Akshayr is also only if it's Nasa. If he didn't consummate the marriage, he didn't turn into a Chalala. Mayer de Tani Amana, so I talk about Amana. Listen, Psulam. Remember, if the Kohen married a woman, and uh, even if he, she wasn't an Amana prior to that, he married Absula. But now when he dies, she's now an Amana. So why do you have to say he married an Amana who was already Amana? Even if he married Absula, listen to Absula. He had a shala before. What causes the Yibam? The original marriage or the fact that he died now? This would be an Afkamina because the original marriage, if he married Absula, then the, his brother, the Karin Gadol, could also marry her because the Yibam is based on the original, her original status when he when when the first brother Reuben married her. Chitem mitzvah ha'tana and the sun rishon apila and therefore the kohen gadol could marry. Hare chalal shenos ikshera, chalal shenos ikshera. Again, she was a kosher belonging in the sun rishon. Don't say she fell from the first sun. She fell when the chalal died, and at that point he had already made her into a chalala. So havadi mishum seifa. This this case that we say every almana is definitely because of the seifa. Shunik boy mess the seifa. Kohen gadol shenos es almana. They were taking almana and he turned it into a chalal. Geish laach kohen gadol kohen hegel. That what? That neither one of them can marry now because the coin gadol couldn't marry. Her she's an amana, and his brother can't marry her because she's now a, a halala. So there it's because dafka almana, dafka almana of absula chazile, but absula was mutter to marry the original guy. Reuben could marry absula. That's why he said amana over here. So therefore, the sanasa is because of the second case. 
and almanas because of the Mishnah, because of the Sefer later on. Okay, so we have these all these very cases. Master or Papa, Emisa, Laha. So these apparently are all the cases. Is this it? There's no other cases. These are the cases mentioned. Mish Master, Emisa, Laha, the Chiyas, Rabim, Rabim, came from Eretz Yisrael, Amr, Rabbi, Hasen, and Rabbi, Mitzri, Shani. What's the Laha? Mitzri and Adomi are not like Amun Moab. Amun Moab is never allowed, even if they convert. Obviously, only if they converted, they can never marry a Jew. Only Rus and Moabia, like we're going to have this week in Mitzri Shem, or Sunday, we're going to learn about Rus, right? We're going to read Rus. Because uh, this is Amoni, below Amonia, uh, Moab, Moab, below Moabia. In other words, the women, Amoni and Moab, are allowed to marry Jews if they, once they converted. Only Amoni can. But Mitzri and Adomi, if they, after they converted, they still cannot marry until the third generation. So let's say this. He says like this. He says, Rabbi Yochanan says, Mitzri Shani, Shana, Mitzri Shana. Mitzri Shani married a Mitzri Shana, but not Shani. You don't look at it, they lost a generation best of husband, but if you look at the worst case, if he, if a Mitzri Shani, meaning his father had converted to Judaism and he's now a second generation and he married a first generation, a convert, a Mitzri who was, not Mitzri of today. These are the original Mitzri, not the Arabs of today, but the original Mitzri, the Rishana, but not, her son becomes also a Shani. He doesn't become a Shlishi. So Havi listen, now I mean we could have said this case, Mitzri Shani Shinasa Shane Mitzri. Let's say a Mitzri Shani, meaning his father had converted. He was a second generation Jew, Egyptian Jew. Uh, and he married two women, two Mitzrios, Achas Mishon and Achashnia. Now he's allowed to marry a, 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 a original Egyptian convert, that's a Rishona, or a woman whose parents had converted. She's a Shnia. Okay. So he married two the two women. A Mitzri Shane is married two women, a Rishona and Shnia. And he had children from both. He had, let's say, a son from the first wife and a son from the second wife. The son from the first wife is now a Shani because, because the mother was Rishona. The son from the second wife is a Shlishis who could marry Israel. In fact, he should only marry Israel. He doesn't marry any. Now, Enos, if they married who they're supposed to marry, meaning the second, the, the, uh, the son, there were two sons with the same father. And the one who was a Mitzri Shani, he married a Mitzri He married a Mitzri uh, Shania. And the son from the second wife, she's usually she's married a regular Jewess. He Enos of Kirchayu Mutras. They're allowed to marry the husband. The, they're allowed to marry the husbands who they married. But let's say those sons died. One or the other died. Can't marry the other one because the Israelis can't marry the Shani, and right can't marry the Shani, and the Shani can't marry the Israelis. So you're in trouble either way. Mutras the Benos was the If they if they if they sin, if the shlish, if the son who was a Shlishis married a, sh- a Shani, who he's not supposed to, a, or if the son who was a Shani married a Yisraelis, then Benasif, Mutarsim, they're allowed to marry the Yavam, because the Yavam fits with them, as was the man, can't marry the Baal. Mutars Leilu, what's against Mutars Leilu? Gyorus. Let's say these two sons married a Gyorus, which is Mutar to all of them. Why? Because it says, Lo Yavo Bekal Hashem, but a Gyorus, is, if you hold that a Gyorus is not a Gyorus, a Gyorus is not Kal Hashem. So either the second generation mystery or the third generation mystery who is the Israel can marry us. A regular Jew can marry a Gyoris, right? All of us, we're regular Jews, we're not the Kwan here, can marry a Gyoris. So either way, you're okay. Asurus Leilu, Islandus. Let's say an Islandus Israelis. Why? Because a, an Islandus Israelis, the second generation, cannot marry an Islandus who's a regular Jewess because she's a regular Jewess. And if he dies, if he dies, he, the brother can't marry her because. She's an islandist. An islandist doesn't have, doesn't form even. So either way, it works out. Uh, is an islandist. So why don't you say this case too? If you hold the Rabbinis halacha, then a Mitzri Shani who marries <coughs> a Mitzri Shani, the son becomes a Shani. And if he marries a Shani, becomes a Shani. So why don't you say this case too? So Tana Mishnah, you left out cases. Tana Mishnah means the Tana listed some cases, but he left out other cases. He didn't list every single case. So my Shai Dai Shai, we always have a clown Shas. If you left out one case, it was obviously to exclude it. If you left out more more than one case, okay, you left you didn't list everything, right? So you have to find some other case that was left out too. My shire and high shire, the shire psuadaka. Psuadaka. Let's say Reuben was a psuadaka who wasn't supposed to marry her, and he married her anyway. Kushan's chal, now he dies. Shimon, his brother's not psuadaka, could marry her, or reverse. If Shimon was a psuadaka, the other can marry even if Shimon's a psuadaka, that's not considered left over. Why? Because you already listened to Chavilab, and like a coin can't marry a halala. Uh, or a mom's can't marry. So we listed already Chayvelav. So that's the Chayvelav, Milo, Tani, Baratan. Chayvelav, we listed several. It wasn't just list one. So it's Tani, uh, right, Baratan. So you left out Suadaka too. Baratani, why? Baratani, we learned Kohen, Hayyish, and Asalmana. That's a, that's a lav, Chayvelav. And Chalal, Shinas, Akshayra. Chalal married Akshayra. And a Chalal married Akshayra. So what happens over there? It's also 
the uh, he is allowed to marry her, but his brother's regular coin cannot. That's also high love, and you listed two different cases. I uh, know it's a there and had a list for differently. Listen, this is very important to understand. A a a um a uh, puzzle coin like a halal. He can marry even a, a bas Cohen or a regular Israelis. He can marry. There's no, there's no iser on them, right? A halal is not. Right? There's no iser on uh, on a halal to marry a Israelis or to marry even a bas Cohen. The husuk sheir is the The iser is that a coin is not supposed to marry a puzzle woman, but there's no iser on a kosher woman not not to marry a coin. Now, if he if a coin marry if a halal marries a um, a kosher woman, he turns her into a halala, but there's no, there's nothing forbidden over there. So he wants to tell you that chiddush. The chiddush is not there. Is not to tell you that there's different chayvilav, and you could say, listen, you listed other chayvilav, and why didn't you list this one? There, the halal shenas sheshes to tell me that the sheshes is allowed to marry a halal, even though he's a halal, right? A, a kohen can't marry a halala, but a, a bas kohen could marry a halal. Maybe that's a chiddush. I've been telling halal shenas sheshes v yisrael shenas bas yisrael v'yesh lach mamzer. So there we have other cases too. You said chalal shenas ker and he saw shenas abbas yisrael v'yesh lach mamzer. What do you have to say that case for? If you're just telling me chayv elavim, anami lo mahar lo mahar misa. That's also not repeating repeating basic lav. Dashmir lav shein shavakol b'shmir lav shavakol. He's telling you an isra of koanim, which doesn't apply to all Jews, only to koanim. And he's telling you mamzer and yisrael, which applies to all Jews, right? No, every yisrael cannot marry mamzer. Every mamzer can marry yisrael. Question of shavakol. But you already said that Yisrael marries a mamzer, not supposed to, and he's a brother who's a mamzer. And those, those are both cases where both the Ovim and the uh, and Reuben and Shem both cannot marry her. And that's also a case of Lav, and that's Lav Shabbatol. And Lav Shemayim and Atan Shire. The answer is he left out other cases too. So the question is, why did you leave out uh, Mitzri, right, to the Mitzri? So he said, Tan of a Shire. What else did you leave out? You left out Psuadaka. But Psuadaka is not considered left out because you left out because you already mentioned Chai Lav. But you also mentioned other chayvilavim. In other words, you mentioned chayvilavim, so you left out others also, like Tzuotaka and like the case of Mitzri and Adom. Gufa, Amar Biran, this is important thing. A kosher woman, kosher means kosher kukuna. Now, it could mean a bas kohen, it could also marry a regular Israelis. So anybody can marry. They, they always encourage a kohen to marry a bas kohen if you could find a proper family like that. But it's not, today nobody's mocked about that, right? So the point is that kosher means kosher to marry a kona. If she's kosher to marry a Kohen now, it does, she's not forbidden from marrying a puzzle person like a halal, even though that's going to turn her into halala, she's not forbidden that. A Kohen is not supposed to marry a halala, like he can't marry a Zona, he can't marry a Grusha. I mean, you're not supposed to marry a halala. But a, a, a woman who's kosher is allowed to marry a Kohen who's puzzle. That's what Yudam Rav Sachem. Lema Masayule, that's what we just said. They teach me that a lot. That's why it says halal for not like Shera, that you're allowed to do that. Let me say, let's is in a proof from our mission, Chalashin Asik Shera, and that's the case of my love kind of so I'm speaking my kind of so my share chair lacuna. She's married, she's married even a Kanas, even a Kanas. It could be Israel also, that's Israel also, but it means she's kosher to marry a Kohen and it tells you the Chal, and she's kosher for that. She says, well, maybe Israel is my share because maybe she's married, she's but doesn't mean she's kosher to marry a Kohen. Maybe Chalashin Asik Shera means she's much of a Kal, so you can't prove from there. Even though we said that's probably what it means. Halal Shanasik Sher means he's kosher the kuna, and he by marrying her he turns her into a halala, right? But he's but that is that the uh, that if Reuven was a halal married a uh, a Shera, he was allowed to, but his brother who's a regular coin cannot marry because she's now a halala. So it could be speaking about not a bas at all. Maybe speaking with Israel. It's my Sher Sher Lakal. Yochi Yeshlo Ach Kosher. What does that mean? And now he's kosher Lakal. He's kosher Lakal. I'm the halal who puzzle. The halal is not puzzle. I'm halal. He's a coin. He can marry. He can marry anybody. He's a. He's a. He's a. He's a, he's a puzzle coin, but he can marry anybody. He's not also love all the cow. A love coin must be speaking on a coin. Who made it? And there's the brother who's a coin. It's a real coin. A middle coin. He kind of maybe you say since he's a coin, so she's also a kind of, and that proves that a kahanas even a boss coin can marry a halal. Meaning, who says? Maybe when we talk about the coin, the coin means a real coin because if it just means a um, a, a halal. So uh, halal is not also love all the halal. So it means a coin, kosher for a love coin. It means when he says um yesh uh, kosher, kosher doesn't mean. You know, and that's when it talks about sheira, that could just mean she's the Israeli who's mutl love of a cow. When it talks about coin kosher, it means mamish a coin kosher. Because also what, what it could mean, uh, uh, a uh, just somebody who's mutter to marry any any regular Jew. A halal is also mar- mutter to marry any Jew. But it could be the two things are allowed after the coin means a coin kosher. And when it says Kshayra, it could just mean the Israelis who's Mutter Lavo, 
Vakal, but not necessarily Israel, uh, not necessarily somebody who's mutter to bury coin. So it's no proof from that, but that seems to be the indication. We say Chalal Shana Sikshari mean a woman who's mutter to marry a coin. She was mutter to marry a coin, and she married a Chalal, which turns her into somebody who's not mutter to marry a coin, and his brother was a proper coin. Masav Rav and Baram Nachman, Leicha, what did Pusik say? Michael, Pusik says, Isha is on a Chalal, Lo Yikachu, Isha. Why the double loy kachu there? Loy kachu le kachum lamech eishim l'seres aide ish. Tell me that a woman is also mutter. Meaning, if a kohen can't marry a grusha, it's also forbidden for the grusha to marry a kohen. We just said that a halal, a halal, can is allowed to marry a bas kohen. She's allowed to marry him. But here it says loy kachum lamech eishim l'seres aide ish. So she's not allowed to marry the, the, the men. Just like a kohen can't marry a grusha, apparently. Uh, Bas Cohen shouldn't be able to marry Chalal. I'm Rabbi No. Kolech to whom was her? He says, if he can't marry her, then she can marry him. If Israel can marry Mamzeris, Mamzeris can marry Israel. If the coin marry can't marry Grusha, she can marry him. If a coin girl cannot marry Amana, she's also forbidden to marry him. Kolech to lo the hulo is, but if he's not forbidden, a Chalal can marry a Bas Cohen. Just turns her into a Chalala. But if he's allowed to, if he's not forbidden, he also Mamzeris. So that's what it learns out from La Yikachu La Yikachu that they both have the same halacha. He can't marry her and she can't marry him. So Gmar Bam Machana, if you learn from here, but Ravina Mravnafka, that's a general Rav, Isha Isha Kiyasum Kalak Khaltosa. If any man or woman does any sins, meaning sins at the Khaib Lava, not talking about Asay, that you're punished for a lav or kores. Hishma Kasal Isha Isha Khala Shabatara. Women and men all have the same. When it comes to Lavan, when it comes to essay, we know Mitzah Sesh Ran Gram and women are potty from. When it comes to Lossa, there's no such thing. Yes, they, oh, only men are chayv and Shabbos or eating treifa or, or uh, so, some it's like no such thing. Anything that a man is also, a woman is also, right? Neither, whatever you say, anything that us, so we know already that men, if, if a coin can't marry a gush, a gush can marry a man, what do I need? You go, you kach, you kach, you there. You may, if, no, that's Russia of Isha, Isha, Kiyas, I might think, have made a lava, Shabbos, only things that apply to all Jews, like can't eat treifa, you can't be Michal Shabbos, Right, you can't wear shatnas, all those things. You know, the only men have to check the suits. Women don't. <laughs> There's no such thing. You know, right? well, in the high about the sushkitiyim, we never check. The women never check the clothes. No, all lavim apply to both. Everything loves applies to both. But I mean, think that only applies to things that apply to all Jews. Avlav shen shabakolo. But if it only applies to coin, and maybe not. The mashmol yikachu yikachu. It's just like a coin can't marry Grusha or a chalala or a zona. She can't marry him. I have a rei tumah lav shen What about tumah? Does, that's a lot of shame because it doesn't apply to Israel. Israel is allowed to go to a funeral, only Kohanim can't. But the time because Rahman of How do we know it applies to men Kohanim not? Because it says Ben Aaron. Wouldn't that have made a notion? I would think women are also high to keep the rules of Tumma that a woman Kohan also couldn't, couldn't go to a funeral. Right? Women are also high to keep the rules of Tumma that a woman Kohan also couldn't go to a funeral. My time allowed me to do a because we're not because all Israel apply to both. It's low. They can marry Yikachu. It learns that from Yikachu. In other words, Isha, 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 Kiyasu, that, that men and women are the same when it comes to all Avon the Torah. That might be, that only applies to things that apply to all Jews, but things that only apply to Kwan and maybe not to Mashma Yikachu. So that's you learn from Yikachu that what? That men and women, when it comes to Kwan, also, whatever a man can't do, a woman can't do. If he can't marry Grusha, Grusha can marry him. He can have some say no. Kicha, Itzru, Chalai, Nida, Yikachu. I might think the opposite. I might think from Tumah. Just like you find by Tumah that only Kohan and males are forbidden to go to the funeral, not women. So I might think that all the rules only apply to males, not to females. Kamash Malon, no, that it doesn't. Rashi, Ikanami, Kicha, Itzrochle, Lemechta, the Lav Shain Shabakol, Nashim, the Saurus, the Afagav, the Mid Ravi, you learn out from Yudom Arav, even though you were learning out from Yudom Arav, Shtam Zan, my Dalik, my Tumah, the Lav Shain Shabakol, the Nashim Tourists, maybe women are Potter. In other words, that a woman is Potter. If she's a Grush and she marries a, a Kohen, maybe she's Potter from that, just like she's Potter from the rules of Tumah. Then no, whatever applies to a male, whatever this is for the male, the counterpart by the woman, she's also forbidden. Uh, she's also forbidden in the same as All right, um, we'll pick it up from here tomorrow, Mr. Shem. Have a good day, everybody. Tomorrow's Rosh Chodesh. Remember that. Yeah.